Okay, so today what we'll be creating is a Google-like search using Flask. So what we'll do is, the, the plan is simple. We'll have a Flask server with which we'll take an input. Then we'll use one open source library with which we'll Google that actual input on actual Google. We'll get the results from the Google and we'll then display it on the page. So it's a simple project, let's start. So what I'll do is I'll first create main.py and what I need is I need flask for now. So I already have flask installed, but I'll just quickly write the command again. So while it installs, um, so in the main.py, let's, let's create a basic first API. So what we need is because we have to render an HTML page, what we'll do is we'll kind of create um, a template folder. So templates, okay. And in the templates folder, now we'll actually have all the files. But yeah, let's let's first start with the Flask basic server. So, okay, what we need is from Flask import Flask, and what we do is we create a basic app for the Flask. So Flask, and then we create our first hub, which is let's say let's say right now the route is slash. So we are creating the route at slash, and the method which it will actually allow is get and post both to the methods will allow right now because uh, okay i'll explain why we need both the methods but right now we'll have get and post so we have two methods let's create the function as well dev let's say search so we're calling the function as search and okay we also need request and render template so render template and request so we, we have request yeah okay so let, we'll have two methods right so first is request dot method if if let's say the method is a post request then you have to do something we'll, we'll sing what <coughs> um else you have to do something so there are two methods now I'll, I'll just kind of explain what what do i mean by that uh, so when when you go on slash we have to first render the page and when we input something on a text box it's a post request so the post request you have to do the search and get back the result and render the page again in a way so okay so let's let's start so first let's create the page which will come on the get request that means the first page so what we'll do is we'll just say render template and let's call let's say other pages main.html now main.html doesn't exist right now so let's create main.html <clears throat> okay so in main.html right now i'm just creating one heading which so says search below and we just close it so let's let's uh, let's first run our, our current server so if i say main.py it should, it should start the server mm okay okay i think i have okay, this is automatically imported okay of course it will not run anything because we have not started the server so let's create the driver code for it and let's call you know app.run okay okay so Okay, so we are again back to the same folder. I think I did. I, I, I removed the dongle. So now we again start the same server. So now it starts at this. Uh, let, let me bring this here. Okay, so it says internal server error. Either server is overloaded or there is an error in the application. Let's see what it says. The main function also did not return a valid response. Either return, return none. I ended with through a statement. Okay, let's see what what do what do we mean by that. So okay, we didn't return anything. So what what the error says is that uh, the function is not returning anything. So Flask is not able to understand what to do with that. So now what we did is we actually returned the render template. Let's see if we refresh this page, what happens? So it says search below. Okay, perfect. So we are able to form. We are able to create the form. Now the next thing is actually creating the HTML form. So okay. Now this is where we go into the HTML part. So we create a form tag and we say action, action equal to. Now we have to tell when we kind of submit it, what happens. 
so I'll just say URL for and the, the page name which we had was search so we'll call it search like this okay and the method which we have like that means when you search what, what method should happen like that means when you click on submit what actually should happen we are saying post because we are handling post there and I have to of course uh, close this form so I'm closing this form here okay let's create our input box which is input and then what we say is let's say for search okay mm, okay let's say give an id which again says search and okay we have to give it a name so it's a name i say query and what does we need we need a placeholder placeholder meaning okay like when the when the box comes what what should it should say please enter your query here okay and now we like we have given our input tag let's see so if i refresh the server okay i get um nothing here i think let me restart the server okay now we see we now we see the now we see a search box here and it says please enter your query here which got struck but okay now we have a search box i can say let's say um, i say anything let's say i want to search google on top of google but if i press enter nothing happens because as soon as i press enter it again says the view didn't return anything now this is the part where we actually go into the post request as you can see as soon as i uh, clicked on this when I, as soon as i hit enter it made a post request so let's go back and let's now we come to this part so what we are saying is we are saying as soon as i search something it comes here and when it comes here we kind of capture it and do something with it so first we have to get the query so let's say the query how do we get the query so we have a form so i can say request.form dot get and now I can give the actual query, the actual name which I gave there. So the name which I gave here was query. So the name for the input box was query. I can give the same name here. So what it does is it go to the form data and it fetches the query. Just to see if I'm actually getting the query, I'll just try printing query here. And I'll return for now, let's say, I'll just return query just to see if I'm able to get the query. Now I'll just restart the server. I'll go back and I'll again go to slash and refresh okay google and it returns the query so if i go back and i say mm, elon musk it gives me the query so we are able to get the query now the next thing is how to search that query so for that what we'll be using is we'll be using another module which is named as google search so what we'll do is this module okay i think it is google search hyphen python okay so now we have a google search module now what this module does is if i let, let's import it first so from google search import search so what we are saying is we are just importing google search from search and now what we'll do here is we'll just write here print search and we'll just pass here query let's see i'm not uh, returning anything back i'm just passing the search query there and let's see what it actually returns so if i go here and I, I again submit the form there's an error let's see search takes zero argument but one was given okay this is what has happened is we also created the function as search so we have to create search query and now because we have changed it here we have to also change it here search query because what this does is it actually finds a route for the function named search query so let's restart it let's go back to slash let's say Elon Musk everything ran but here you can see it says generator object search so 
it did something. The search library did something. What it did, we, we are not getting that. So let's let's try to you know, let's try to um, how how should we do it? We, let's let's write let's let's print it in a way. Okay, let's write it like this. What we'll do is from generator object we are trying to now convert it back to a list so that we can see what results we are getting. So now if I resubmit it, as you can see, it is taking some time because it's making a Google search and what it returns is uh, I think these are 10 links which you should get if you search Elon Musk on Google so let's let's try let's open google.com okay no, gmail google.com and if we search Elon Musk here let's see what do we get in Wikipedia we get Forbes, we get Instagram, we get Tesla.com, we get CNBC, ALC. Forbes, Instagram, Tesla.com, CNBC. Again, Instagram, Tesla, CNBC, 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 CNBC. So here, if you see, okay, now this is this search is actually also a bit changed based on what you search, but you can we can see the most results are directly from here. The next thing which you have to do is to send this result back. Um, we have to send this result back onto the screen. So the, the simple way is we can just directly pass, you know, the arguments as um, like a like a string, normal string. That's one way. Let's let's first do that. So what we'll do is we'll kind of render we'll create a format as string, and we'll say something like, uh, how how should we do that? Okay, so let's let's create it like this. I okay. Uh, so there is no slash n here, like in when you print it. But I, I'll just still say something like here. Okay, let me do it like this. Dot join list search query. So we'll remove it from here. Remove it here. Save it. Restart the server. And now if we refresh, okay, not here, sorry. If we refresh here, let's see what do we get. It's taking some time because it's searching on Google, uh, but let's see. Okay, we get the links directly without that slash and it, it actually prints it in one line without any, without any breaks because, because slash and doesn't work like that. So now what we'll do is we'll actually create another, another template, which we'll call as, let's say, results.html now now in results.html we actually have to try to you know print or show the results what what we'll actually have so what we'll do is in main.py here instead of returning it like this what we'll do is we'll say return render template and we'll say results.html is the file and we'll pass the results as an argument so results equal to list search query so this should actually send back the results the results are HTML and then what we can do is we can write kind of something like for is in results and for and right now we we'll just print result here so let's say result like that and we'll just add a PR tag here let's see let's see what happens when, when we run the server so we'll refresh the page go here we'll refresh it okay now we can see actually all the things are coming in line but we can still not click it so now there are multiple ways to do that. You can create an anchor tag and give the link there. We can we can give it a try. Okay, so we create an anchor tag and call href equal to this slash a and here we'll also write this.
let's, let's give it a shot. What happens now? Okay, so instantly every link actually converts into a link which you can click and it actually redirects you to the, to the results. And yeah, that's all. So now we actually have a whole Google search like experience. What we can do is let's go to the slash. We can say something like Tata Group Net Worth. And it gives me the search results for Tata. And I can say weather today in Bangalore. It gives me result for AccuWeather in Bangalore. So like this, we have actually converted our simple flash service into a Google search. It, it goes behind the scene and actually searches the query on Google and returns back.